in Kensington, Minnesota, 1898, a Swedish immigrant, Ola Bowman, found a stone with runic inscription. This is where it all started. Placed by the Vikings in 1362. 120 years before Christopher Columbus. My name is Peter Stormare, but you might recognize me better as the woodchipper guy from Fargo. And that's the film I was working on when I first saw the rune stone. He was accused of carving this himself. He was accused of perpetrating a hoax. It's much easier to say this is fake than to look at the history behind it. I just want to clear his name, his family name. My name is Elroy Belgard, and I got an email from Peter Stormare. Nice to meet you. Saying he could add to the story. So follow our gut. Yeah. Let the stone point us in the right direction. The problem with it is that its inscription cannot possibly have been written in the 14th century. You're fighting a big battle here. Yeah, I'm fighting scholars yes. that are afraid of losing their jobs. This thing is taboo. The stone challenges the discovery of the United States. All the academics doesn't even want to talk about it. If they would look at the actual evidence, it's all weighing in favor of the runestone. If you say it has anything to do with the runestone, they just don't want to go there. Because he was from the same county as I'm from, I promised him I'm going to solve this mystery. Archaeology! Oh my god. I don't like to get religious, but that finding that is sort of like a miracle. This just got real. Yes! 